In this reading of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 4, Section 6. Controlling the Body, Controlling the Past. Hi, David. A while ago you wrote Weight Control, like any attempt to control the script or the body, is an attempt to control the past. Can you help me with that line? I would like more explanation as to how it is an attempt to control the past. How is the controlling of the body like controlling the past? Beloved one, in the workbook, the course makes the statement. The script is written. In the beginning of the workbook, Jesus explains that the reason the first six lessons are true is because of lesson seven. I see only the past. The script of the world Everything perceived with the five senses is the past. Everything in the script was over long ago. The mind is just reviewing it as if it is still happening. To attempt to control the weight of the body is one example of trying to change the past or control the script. It is only possible to control the direction of thinking in the mind. That is, right-minded thinking is a choice that can be made with increasing consistency. Yet, the script is beyond the possibility of change or control. The script is like the film in the projector. It just seems to play out when actually all the images are past. The optical delusion of the world seems to offer the ability to control things. But is it impossible? It is impossible to control something that is already finished and done. The body is part of the past. Time is a trick, a sleight of hand, a vast illusion in which figures come and go, as if by magic. Yet there is a plan behind appearances that does not change. The script is written. When experience will come to end your doubting, has been set. For we but see the journey from the point at which it ended. Looking back on it, imagining we make it once again, reviewing mentally what has gone by. Workbook Lesson 158 The mind can change its mind about itself. One has no control over the world. The body and the world are the same. They are past. The world you perceive is a world of separation. Perhaps you are willing to accept even death to deny your father. Yet he would not have it so. And so it is not so. You still cannot will against him, and that is why you have no control over the world you made. It is not a world of will because it is governed by the desire to be unlike God, and this desire is not will. The world you made is therefore totally chaotic, governed by arbitrary and senseless laws and without meaning of any kind. 
for it is made out of what you do not want, projected from your mind because you are afraid of it. Yet this world is only in the mind of its maker, along with his real salvation. Do not believe it is outside of yourself, for only by recognizing where it is will you gain control over it. For you do not have control over your mind, since the mind is the mechanism of decision. Text chapter 12, section 3